Hi Taurus, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the awareness of the week, we have some pentacle energy for you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This young page is seeking knowledge, is seeking uh, the experience of really learning everything he can about a topic, an area, perhaps a relationship. And you can see, what is he doing? He's studying. He's studying the pentacle. He's observing. He's not moving. He's just standing, thinking about it. So he's willing to work hard. He's willing to take the time it is to put in the work to become more experienced, to become more knowledgeable. We can apply this awareness in terms of things that you're hoping to take on new projects, new hobbies. You may be in the research phase. You may be looking at travel and maybe studying or looking at routes or itineraries. There's a real sense here of, of taking the time and putting in the work to get things done well, to be devoted to what you're doing and to uh, putting yourself in a position of, of gaining more information and more knowledge. So whether this relates to your career and you've been studying maybe for a certification exam or you've been studying new business opportunities, this is a card of taking these initial steps here to start to get familiar. So what's interesting is here we have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles sits in this uh, very lush environment outside in nature. Loves nature. And she's also holding on to her pentacle and studying her pentacle. So really, the awareness of the week for you may be studying with respect to your finances, to your resources, to your time and your energy. She loves nature. She is kind and considerate to others. This is a queen that could represent energies that you have or someone within your family or your, your office. Nurturing, compassionate, considerate, reaching out and has a sense that if someone needs help, she would be willing to help. Very capable and successful. Again, interested in comfort and beauty. And this queen would do a lot to make the home feel comfortable, to maybe make your office, your cubicle, comfortable, homey, familiar. This week might be a time when you're doing things, beautifying the home, buying new furniture, bringing in flowers. It could be um, double checking your budget, your finances, or planning, perhaps planning to make some future purchases and trying to figure out how you're going to do so. So now let's choose two cards for guidance. I'm going to go down here. Ooh, okay. So we have the devil, major arcana, and the devil is the devil. And so the devil is about this bad guy, this fella who is going to try to mess us up. And so he gets into our into our head and we stumble, we do things perhaps that we wish that we didn't do. And so the devil can show himself 
through obsessive behavior, through sexual shenanigans, through lying, deceit, cheating, through dishonesty, through overindulgence, drinking too much, uh, so many ways for us to trip ourselves up so that we don't get to be our best selves. We know what our devil is. We have to deal with it. We have to figure out how to lessen the impact because the devil would be happy if we didn't have faith in ourselves. Doesn't want us to have faith and it's the, the ability to obstruct. And you can see these, these, this couple may feel like they're chained, that they're in bondage. They're in bondage to the actions or the activities that, uh, that they feel that they have no control over perhaps, or that bring them such pleasure that it's willing, you know, it, it's become an obstruction to, again, living your best self. So it's always a curious card because it's, you know, we, we often associate it with materialism of being so concerned with the material aspect of life and losing sight of the spiritual sense. But the devil, uh, we can release the devil. We have to be wanting to release the devil. And whatever that is for each person, it is unique to you. These chains, you could be slipping out of these chains and taking the steps necessary to, um, you know, remove the behaviors that are holding you back. But you have to want to do it. Or you can be, um, you know, beholden to these impulses that are not helping. So I do like seeing the star next to the devil because the star is uh, the strength of, po of having a positive outlook and a be the belief that the universe, and the stars, are looking out for you and that they have you in their sight and that they are sending messages to you, which is to take care of yourself. Have faith. Don't let these off-path... <laughs> behaviors don't let them win get back to taking care of yourself and it's so interesting we have the naked couple here and then we have the naked woman the ultimate in being vulnerable or being open to whatever comes your way that you're okay with yourself this is who you are we look to the stars for guidance we rely on the stars to be um, there, we're inspired by the stars. She's pouring water within the, the pond and on the ground. Again, it's the healing of spiritual and emotional self. This is much more of a mindset card and of thinking versus a doing, although it's certainly a wonderful practice to give yourself time to rest, to recover, to heal to contemplate. So the star uh, often comes to us after challenging times. So there may be a uh, situation, an incident or something where the devil got the best of the situation and here's the star saying, that's okay, take a step back, don't forget the big picture, which is the universe has got you. But you have to trust that. Whether it's the universe, God, divine, divine source, trust that everything is going to be okay. So now let's see what possible outcomes could be. So talking about interesting interesting pairing here. We have the Five of Cups. It's a sense of loss. It's a sense of regret, of disappointment. What I feel 
in this reading is that it's the loss of, of perhaps the behaviors were f are fun or something here was fun. And it's the reality of cutting something loose and cutting loose of a behavior like that. You may feel regret. You may feel a sense of loss. You may feel disappointed just as this cloaked figure feels focusing on what's lost instead of counting your blessings and thinking about what you have. And this is fine to let it go. You have to process loss. You have to acknowledge it. But if you're living here day after day, you're never going to move forward. You're never going to evolve or grow. The good news is if you can get past this sense of giving something up and, and losing something, you may feel that you're losing something really enjoyable within your life. Um, you know, here's the sun, and the sun says, you've got happiness coming to you. You've got life force, high energy, success, good health, good relationships, and you're going to bring back the feeling of feeling, the feeling of feeling carefree, of joy in life, delight, inspirations and creativity, abundance with the sunflowers. Also having the sense of illumination of, you may have learned a few things, and as a result of this process of thinking, planning, of nurturing, um, again, Queen of Pentacles next to the devil, may suggest materialism or uh, overboard in that area. And the sun is like everything is good. Everything is happy. You will find happiness. You will find joy. You will be enlightened and illuminated as a result of this experience. So very interesting cards and nice to see the sun and the star that's really wonderful okay so let's get a little more information from the oracle cards and we'll see what the messages are Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. So this could be a very specific message for some of you that a breakthrough in your actions, in your path, in your mindset, and in your desires is at hand. And once we have that breakthrough, he's going to be able to get through to the other side and to the light and to opportunities and to the sun the happiness with the sun. So now let's choose card for spirit or emotional self. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So it's an important message for the times when you feel where you don't have hope and you feel a sense of loss or isolation. Rely on spirit and realize that the stars and the spirit uh, are paying attention and watching. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Get to know each other, 
Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to go grow. So getting to know each other, taking your time, unraveling each piece and layer day by day, not rushing things. It's a wonderful process of taking the time to really get to know your friends, your potential lovers, and even your spouse. Um, so a lot of patience in this card here of learning, of gaining, of gaining knowledge. This is what I have for you for this week, and I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already, like, share, or comment, and I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.